this week I was working on um, getting some of my applications that I really enjoy on my Android device uh, to work on my computer. And I looked at several different methods of getting uh, Android working from uh, using Arc Welder, which really wouldn't even use my APKs that I wanted to run. And then I tried uh, some of the uh, Android x86 projects uh, in VirtualBox. Unfortunately, those don't, didn't really suit my needs, mainly for the reasons that um, one thing I didn't like is the fact that there is no pointer integration. Pretty much, you're, you know, there are no VirtualBox uh, additions of any kind, so basically your, your mouse gets trapped in the screen, and pressing the host key doesn't always release the mouse. That kind of really annoyed the heck out of me. Um, and uh, this has been a similar problem uh, across the different x86 builds, so I'm not going to mention any names or anything like that. And then there's another project called Anbox that I built, and uh, I was able to get working on my system after going through some mindless tedium. Uh, however, that program kept crashing on me. And so uh, I took a look at uh, this this software that we're looking uh, that I've got a web page for on the Arch Wiki, uh, Genomotion. Now, Genomotion is a um, is a commercial product, but it's free uh, to use. And this is the only one out of the entire bunch for the Linux system that actually suits my needs and does a pretty nice job of uh, doing what I need it to do. Uh, it allows me to connect to the Google Play Store so I can get my applications uh, installed that I paid for. Um, it has mouse integration with it. Uh, it is a little bit awkward um, to use, um, but there are ways around that, as I'll show you in today's uh, demonstration. So I figured I'd do a little quick video demonstrating this. Okay, and some of you who may try to attempt to build this on Manjaro are going to run into this uh, generating package info build info and then when it after it does the m tree it says it can't find the files that it needs to build the package and i ran into the same issue as well and i hit myself in the head and i'm like well that's not the way you build packages anymore i was just lazy and i was using one of my uh, pac-man helpers um uh, to the tune of yay, treason, yawart, one of those, right? And the actual way you're supposed to build your uh, AUR packages on an Arch-based system is to do it the way I'm going to show you right now. So you can use your um, Pac-Man helper to search. So if you want to use yay, you can use yay, and then Genomotion, and then you'll find it. Okay, then you know that you can just jump on this page here on the uh, aur.archlinux.org, search for the package you want. I've got it right here, Genomotion. We're going to just go ahead and download the snapshot. I'm going to save file. Okay, and then we'll go into my download directory. Here it is. I'm just going to right-click on that and extract here. All right, and then when that is done... We uh, can look inside here and we see that there are a number of files. Looks like it's got a desktop file for us, um, uh, some uh, an install file, and a package build. And if you want to go in and change these, you can. Uh, I've already tested this and I know that it works. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and fly with this one. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to open up a terminal here. And we're just going to change directory to where this package build is located. All right, and then I'm just going to run make package. All right, and at this point, it's going to go ahead and uh, go through the motions. It's going to basically uh, download everything that it needs, and it's going to uh, build the uh, installation package that we can use on Manjaro. Interestingly, any package that you build from the uh, Arch user repository can be built this way. Um, it's to your benefit because then you have a you know where exactly where that built package is, and it's great for those of you who want to keep little backups of those kind of things. You know that's the way my mind works anyway. You know um, I like to build a package and then 
have that package. And then I have a special place where I store uh, packages that I've built to myself. It's very handy if you're going to do like a fresh install in Manjaro, and then you've got those packages already built, and then you can just run pacman use star.tar. Uh, dot .xz and it'll install all of your packages that you've already built without having to go through the hassle of rebuilding them again. <laughs> so it's a great time saver. All right, so with that out of the way and it's already been built, uh, we can uh, verify that. All right, you can see we've got our uh, Genomotion um, File here. Let's just uh, highlight this and copy. All right, and then sudo pacman tech capital U, and then Control Shift V to paste that. It'll ask you for your password. All right, and then it will. It's uh, it says it's already up to date. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. All right, great. Now, this isn't going to uh, put a shortcut in your start menu. Okay. You'll see that uh, it's not in here. Okay. So you would launch that from a terminal. Or you can do as I did. I created a shortcut and used an acorn to launch it. Or you can just use a terminal. Just type in Genomotion and it'll start. And then once this application initially loads, it will ask you to put in a username or password. All right, there is a link in the description where you can go or you can just uh, click on the interface to register. Registration is free. And if you choose to select uh, to use this um, as free, it's free for personal use, but you can't use it for commercial reasons. All right. Um, I do want to note that at the time this was made, they flagged it out of date because there is a new version. So the package maintainer needs to uh, update their package build to get the latest build. Um, so just be aware of that because that's what that number one message is. Genomotion 301 is now out. All right. Um, but it's working well enough for me here, so that's all fine and dandy. Now, uh, let's go ahead and uh, close this out here. Okay, now, um, I've already gone ahead and I've already created um, an Android machine, but just for demonstration purposes, I'll show you how easy it is to set this up. OK, so what you can do is you basically choose your form factor. Are you looking to run phone software, tablet software or a large tablet? Pretty much you pick out your form factor. Um, you can pick out which Android version you want um, uh, all the way up to the latest release or starting at the 4.1 series. OK, um, how many dots per inch? screen you want on it and you know what screen size you want and then of course um, well the only source is uh, Genomotion. So I'm not going to use any of these filters here um, I'm just going to go ahead and just select custom phone and I'm just going to install it. Alright why don't we name this um, test okay and then why don't I set um, a 1080p resolution on this. 1920 by 1080 is acceptable. Android version, you want that to be 4.4 or higher if you're going to use the Google Play Store. Okay, so it's just something to keep in mind. Um, you can use any of them. Uh, the current machine that I have on now is using Android 9.0. It seems to work just fine. But uh, you can use any version of Android that you want. So for this build, let's go ahead and uh, rock with uh, Android version 4.4. I'm going to uncheck to show the navigation bar. And the reason being is because on the side, you'll see that they have a panel full of really cool um, settings already. So there's no need to have the navigation bar showing on the bottom. So let's go ahead and install this. Okay, and now our device has been created, and now we can go ahead and start it.
Okay, and now, and I love this. When you you have to install the uh, Google Apps separately, but uh, it's amazing because uh, now you've got a nice little Android system on your computer, which you can run all your favorite Android apps on for the most part. So uh, here it is. I hate these intro things, but yeah. Okay, and then here's your navigation right here. So you can uh, click on uh, all your recent apps if you want to get the uh, internal menu, home menu. It's running with a little de delay for some reason. That's neither here nor there because I can install some extra things. If you do want to have the Google Play Store and the Google Apps, you need to install it. So you uh, basically uh, read their little disclaimer here, select accept. And then basically it's flashing the archive and then it will allow you to uh, be able to install those applications if you decide you want them. Okay, so we'll restart now. Wants to open up this uh, open gaps page. All right, and here we are. Okay, now, uh, if you roll the mouse wheel, um, this is how you can uh, flip through your little screens here which I think is pretty neat. All right, and then um, Google Play, you need to log into your account. Um, something of interest though, that I need to point out here is that if you need to reboot the phone, you don't want to do it from this menu, okay? Instead, you need to open up a terminal here. Let's uh, go ahead and open up a new tab. And then we need to use an ADB command to um, to reboot the device. And that is done with ADB reboot. And then you will see it is rebooting the device. If you don't do it this way, what can happen is um, your uh, Android uh, will hang on boot sometimes. Um, this is especially true when, uh, essentially, this is giving you a rooted device to work with, okay? And you have a rooted platform. And what will happen is, um, for some reason, uh, it'll hang, it won't boot up properly, and that sort of thing. And then, you, so you really want to avoid uh, pressing the power button here. Instead, when you're ready to shut off your machine, you uh, go to the menu here in this dialog and select stop to turn off Genomotion. If you don't do that, my experience has been you've got, you'll end up having a, a borked setup. Let me uh, turn on my other one. This has got Android 9 on it. Just right click on it and select start. Interestingly, uh, I don't have this on my uh, SSD drive, but if I did, the boot times are ridiculously quick, um, and it's super fast. But I prefer to, um, you know, to conserve my uh, SSD space. So, and it's not really uh, crit absolutely critical that I have these uh, on. Um, my SSD drive. So, uh, but basically, um, a number of applications uh, that I enjoy using at a regular basis are on the uh, screen right here. And then, of course, a handful of other applications, games, and stuff like that, you know, while I'm waiting on. Uh, I, I know I'm going to be sitting here playing uh, some, some of the uh, Android games while I'm waiting on the next M. Cole build to come. Uh, you know, come up for me. So, you know, this is kind of cool because I can't play these games in Linux. So it's nice to be able to have this here. And then, um, you know, I'm using, um, you know, anytime I can go into the Play Store and I can get any anything that I want to and that sort of thing. So um, this is all nice stuff here. And uh, I uh, use uh, Nova as my launcher. And uh, I happen to like that a lot. It's been my favorite launcher. It's got that traditional look and feel to it. So pretty much, you know, I've got a nice little uh, setup here for, um, you know, running my Android apps on my PC. And then, of course, uh, in order to get Attaway, you have to uh, install F-Droid. And then you can uh, load in Attaway. And then that 
writes a root uh, a hosts file for the system. And uh, so, yeah, nice stuff. Uh, Genomotion, thank you for making this available for personal use. I love this because basically it just gives me a nice little platform for uh, for uh, playing my games. And I have, uh, you know, um, other, you know, uh, things that I use it for. So uh, it's very handy and uh, I love it. So um, Genomotion is definitely worth your time. Um just keep in mind, though, again, you know, ADB is your friend. Um, if you want to push applications to uh, your um, to this, you can use uh, ADB push and then the APK file that you want to have sent to the system. Uh, personally, I haven't had need to do that because I can grab everything uh, that I've paid for uh, from the Play Store. And among them is uh, FX file manager. I love this program. I even, I have this on my main Android device and uh, it's powerful. I also love its web access because uh, using this, I can use my web browser and I can push at APKs uh, to the uh, phone this way too, uh, using the web access. And that's only available with the paid version of this and it's worth it. I mean, I think it's, it, I think it only cost me like three or four bucks and I've had it for the past few years and I absolutely love it. So, um, definitely worth, uh, trying that out. And then of course, uh, I like the, uh, Kiwi browser on Android simply because, uh, it is, uh, super lightweight. Um, it does use, uh, the Chrome engine. Now, uh, I have not, uh, customized this yet, um. Uh, on my on my Android here, I have it themed real dark and everything, and it, it it's really light. Um, it's not it's not bloated like the Chrome browser. So if you want the Chrome type experience on Android, um, this one's pretty good. I like this browser. And then of course I just have a handful of games that I play on here, and pretty much. That's all there is to it. Well, I don't know what else to add to this, uh, so uh, I guess I can close for here. Um, as stated, I am working on the next MCOL release, and that will be um, the UEFI edition, which I'm going to build from uh, the official Manjaro tools instead of using um, my, using uh, the tools that I uh, made uh, from uh, Hacking Arch or forking arch ISO. So I'm building one with uh, the official Manjaro tools and that should be coming out fairly soon. So yeah. So until then, um, please take a little bit of your time and be excellent with somebody today. Peace out. Mm -hmm.